Okay, we're back. Um, so we're going to take this program we made the other day, this guessing game one, and we're going to make a couple changes to it. Um, we're going to, first of all, change it so that our secret number is random. So every time we run it, it'll be different. Um, and in order to do that, we're going to have to learn uh, what a static variable is. So I'm just going to write static variables um, lifetime is as long as the program is running. Okay, uh, dim variables get deleted from the system memory when you get to the end sub. So this dim secret number right now, every time we get to the end sub, it's going to get deleted. All right. Now, if we're going to have um, a static variable, what that's going to do is when we get to the end sub, it's going to remember the value of secret number if it's declared static. So because I'm going to be doing a random number, I don't want it to generate a random number more than once. So by declaring it static, that's going to get rid of that little issue. Okay, so let's just go ahead and delete this entirely. Uh, actually, let's not get, let's not do that. Let's just call it static. So there. Now we've got static secret number, um, except we're not going to give it a value just yet. So we're just going to declare it like this. Um, so, all right, let's look at um, creating random numbers. So to create a random number, um, we're going to use the um, R&D function. So use the R&D function. Um, the R&D function is going to generate a random number between 0 and 1. So it'll be a decimal. And actually, it's pseudo-random, and we'll talk about it later, but that means it's like random. Um, it's actually very hard. Um, I think it's impossible to get a truly random number from a computer. You've got to somehow generate a random number. Um, so no matter what you do, it's going to be, at a certain point, it's going to become predictable because there's sort of, let's say, a formula at work um, in the background. So we generate a pseudo-random number um, between 0 and 1. Uh, we use the following formula to generate random numbers between a low number and a high number. And the formula is we're going to go int, so we're going to get the integer version of the number, and it's going to be the high number minus the low number plus 1 times R and D plus your low number and close that bracket. So it's going to take the integer version of this. The reason we want the integer version is because uh, this is going to generate a decimal number. And if we're storing it in an integer, um, we don't actually want it to round because um, you can get a number that's out of range if you do it that way. So by taking the integer version, it'll ignore the decimal. All right. All that being said, uh, we're now ready to take our secret number, and we're going to make it become um, an integer. Um, now, we're going to use 0 for our low number and 50 for our high number, because that's uh, what our game says. So I'm just going to type it all in. So 50 is my high number. 0 is my low number. So I'm going to go high minus low plus 1 in that bracket. And then I'm going to go times R and D plus my low number, which is 0. Now, I, I could clean this up. Like, I could get rid of the zeros here. Like, there's really no need to have them. I could write, you know, 51 in here. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it this way um, because that's what my formula looks like. If you want to clean it up, you can. All right, so now that we have that done, um, we do have that little label in the bottom right corner that we created last time, and that's going to show our secret number. So that's so that we can test the game properly. Um, it's hard to test it properly if we don't know what the secret number is. So let's run it. And here we go. Um, so you'll notice that, well, where's my secret number? Well, um, nothing happens until I hit guess, right? All this code. Okay, so we had this issue where the secret number was not changing value. It's always the same. Or, sorry, soul is different, rather. And that's not good. That is not what we want. So what we need is when you declare something static, um, if you want it to just get a value one time, you need to put the declaration on the line where you declare the variable. So I just move that over here. I'm going to move all my comments as well. 
to right there. How cool is that? <laughs> it's pretty neat. <laughs> um, and now, when I run, I added in a message while I was offline there, so we'll talk about that later. But now, every time I run it, let's see what happens. That's always 35. Well, that's not very good either. It's always 35 every time I run it. Let's try one more time. Still 35. So, you know, players of your game are going to figure that out pretty quick. Um, so, like I said, um, in VB, these numbers are pseudo-random. So what's happening is VB generates a sequence of numbers. Um, and every time you run your code, it's going to start in the same place in the sequence unless you write the keyword randomize. So randomize tells VB, okay, every time this runs, make sure you start in a different place so that it looks like we have a random number. So now every time I run, I got 10 that time for my secret number. Uh, this time it was 7. So every time I open my game, oops, I accidentally minimized it there. Every time I open my game, it is a different number. We'll do it one more time. There we go. All right. Last thing I did is um, I added in a form load event. Um, and I, I already did that. And I just wanted to show you guys how to use a message box dot show statement. So uh, form load is just going to run um, before the game opens up. So it'll be the first thing that happens. And it's going to execute this code. And I just wanted to have a little message just saying welcome and guess a number between 0 and 50 to win so that the game is sort of explained for the user. So now you see that coming up on the screen. And now I can take a stab at it. And I can properly, you know, check my code, make sure it's working. So I know the secret number is 4, so I can purposely guess higher, make sure the message is correct. I can guess a little bit lower, make sure it's saying too low. And when I guess 4, it says you guess correctly. Um, so once the game is ready, I would go and remove that label. Um, that's it for today. Have a good one. Bye-bye.